everyone, welcome back to the Gung YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to create this fine china makeup look. Firstly, I will be blocking out my brows using the Elmer's Purple Glue Stick. Everyone swears by this glue, I swear by this glue, and so do drag queens, so I 100% recommend for sticking down those brows. When applying the glue, go back and forth through the brows to get a generous layer of glue on them. Then, using a disposable spoolie, we are going to brush the hairs right up so they can lay flat against the skin. I usually apply 3-4 to four layers of glue to make sure the hairs are firmly glued down. Once you've applied all 4 layers, I then go in with a cotton bud and some micellar water and go around the edges of the brows to remove the glue on the skin. I'm now going to take some translucent powder and a disposable sponge and set the brows in place. It's important to press the powder firmly into the brows to set the glue and cover any gaps in the eyebrow. To block out the brows, I will be using the white grease paint from Meron and applying that with a brush to get into all the tiny gaps of the brows. Then I will go with a sponge for a smooth finish. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids with the white P. Louise base. For the eyeshadow I will be using the James Charles palette and going in with the dark blue in the outer corner of the eye. I am then going in with a small fluffy brush and buffing that colour out to create a smoky winged eye.
add in a tiny bit of P. Louise Basin in the crease to make that white pop. To finish off the eyes, I will be adding some loose pigment from MAC in the shade White Gold to the crease and inner corner of the eye. For the base, I will be using the same white paint from Meron and blending that out onto the skin, down the neck and into the hairline using a thick, dense brush. Next I'll be using the Illamasqua setting powder to set that base in place. Moving on to the fine china design, I will be using the water-based Crolon paint palette to create the small details on the face. Once all the details have been drawn out, I am then going in with a blue eyeshadow to shade and highlight the details to add depth. Next I'm applying a thin layer of white paint to the eye for mascara. Moving on to the lips, before I apply any product I'm using a cotton bud and micellar water to remove any white paint off the lips. And 
and to complete the look I'm adding a tiny amount of clear gloss to the lips. And that's it, this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. I'd also like to quickly say thank you so much for the love of my previous video, it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!